What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here, and today we're going to be talking about something uh, very important. Uh, the gameplay in the back is just more or less to give you guys something to look at. It is not amazing or special or unique snowflake in any way. It is me playing Battlefield for the first time since the beta and sucking balls. Uh, there's a couple good cl uh, parts in here. But uh, if, you're, if you're looking strictly for gameplay and you don't care about what this video is talking about, you're probably going to be bored out of your mind. So let's talk about today's topic. Uh, the topic is critical. Uh, this is something that's very scary if you're a YouTube commentator. Uh, and it's kind of the equivalent of, uh, you know, your boss coming in and letting you know that uh, you may be laid off come January. Uh, probably not quite that harsh, but... Uh, it could be as much as a 50% cut for certain YouTubers, and it's going to completely change the landscape uh, for the way YouTube partnerships work, which for a lot of you guys that aren't into YouTube from a business perspective, you, you may not you know really understand what's going on. And this video is mainly to kind of let you guys know kind of behind the curtain or the backstage information that's going on that you guys may not be aware of. So... Let's go ahead and talk about briefly what's going to happen, what I think that means, how that's going to change stuff, and then we'll kind of go into a little bit more detail. So just a brief overview, the way things work right now with the way YouTube handles copyright and the way YouTube interprets fair use, um, basically if you're a gamer you pretty much have to be with a network. There are a couple exceptions but it just makes your life a lot easier if you're a network, it's a lot safer if you're with a network, uh, and in general you know most channels that are gaming related are partnered with some network. Now when I say networks I mean things like the Game Station, Polaris, uh, Full Screen, Yaosh, Curse, whatever. Those are what we're gonna call MCNs from here on. So MCNs these networks previously were able to basically invite anybody that they wanted to their network uh, for whatever arbitrary requirements they personally felt were necessary. And then um, if they invited somebody and that person was, you know, decided to upload The Simpsons or whatnot, uh, the network really didn't get in trouble for it. I mean, they might get a slap on the wrist or said, you know, you need to clean some stuff up, but there weren't any real permanent ramifications for that. Well, as of January 1st, that's going to change, basically. There are two options now for an MCN. They have the affiliate partners, and they have the managed partners. Now, what most networks are probably going to be leaning towards is affiliate partners. And what an affiliate partner means is, basically, uh, if we're understanding this right, you're going to be basically an AdSense partner. Uh, you're basically going to go through the same review process as somebody that would with AdSense. Um, except, you know, you're going to be with the network and the network's going to take a cut of your earnings. And for those of you guys who don't realize, when you sign up with the network, a network's going to take a large chunk of your earnings, anywhere from 40% um, down to as little as, uh, you know, 10 or 20 if you're huge. Uh, but for the, the, the industry standard for most, me, you know, small YouTubers is 60, 40 or 70, 30. Um, and that's, that's a lot of your income to give up. You know, you're giving up 30 or 40% of your income on top of the 40% that Google already takes. Uh, and for that benefit, you're getting instantaneous monetization. Well, with this, you're going to have to go through the same approval process that you did before you were even partnered. And so what a lot of folks are realizing is the benefit that they had for their MCN is almost non-existent at this point. Um, you're not getting really any benefit and you're paying them a ridiculous amount of your money and you're basically getting screwed. Um, so what's the other type of partnership? Well, the other type of partnership is managed partners. Now managed partners, they're going to be basically what we call a partner today. They get instantaneous monetization. Uh, everything is quick, easy, painless. There's no problems. You don't have to wait two, three days or a week for YouTube to uh, authorize your monetization. You don't have to show them proof. You don't have to fight with them over it. Send emails back and forth and go through a nightmare. You just upload your content, click, and it's done. And that's basically what we do right now. The problem with that and the change that they're implementing is starting in January, if you are a managed channel and you get a strike, you now share that strike with your MCN. Now for YouTube channels, it's a three strike you're out policy. If you get three strikes within six months, your YouTube account is deleted, you are done, thanks for playing, goodbye, don't come back. 
uh, and that is a permanent ban, and YouTube is not exactly well known for uh, giving out appeals or giving you any any sort of appealing process, which is one of the reasons a lot of people are with networks as well, is uh, it gives them at least somebody to talk to. Well, with this change, networks are going to be under the gun. You know, previously, they didn't really care. You know, a lot of standards have dropped this past year. A lot of networks have been inviting people that should, in all honesty, never have been partnered to begin with and is, has been letting them in. And these people have been going crazy. They've been uploading things they never should have uploaded. Um, you know, Simpsons episodes, full TV trailers, full episodes of, you know, your favorite TV show, things that just should not be uploaded. And previously, you know, there wasn't any backlash, but now YouTube will flat out nuke those MCNs. So the MCNs are going to have to be very, very, very careful about who they give that access to. And so some of the MCNs are going to freak out and they're going to uh, make all of their partners affiliate. Uh, my network is currently one of the networks that's doing that. Uh, some of the other networks may do a review process where you know over six months or three months or four months however long they deem um, you will eventually be, be moved over to manage partners and then there are some networks who are going to do that right off the bat where basically long-term trusted partners are going to be instantaneously managed uh, and then after a couple weeks of real review process new partners will be over and so the majority of their their network will be managed partners the problem with that is um, while you know uh, partnerships like my company are going to be very safe from a business standpoint. They don't have to worry about being shut down. Uh, somebody who is managed, uh, thinks most of their partners managed, could be shut down anytime. You know, three videos. Now, I, I don't know if the MCN strikes are the same. If it's a three strike, you're out policy. It may be five, it may be 10, it may be 100. Um, but, you know, you got to realize when you have 500, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 channels partnered with your MCN, you know, if one person goes crazy and uploads five videos, you know, that's it. You know, everybody with that company is now screwed. And so a lot of companies are taking the safer route. And it kind of sucks because, you know, if you are a good content creator like me personally, I haven't had any copyright strikes, any content matches in over a year. And I've never had a copyright strike. Uh, the worst thing I've ever had was a content ID match. And 99.99999% of those on my channel were always... Uh, accidental and mistakes on the other people's part like it wasn't a legit claim so it's kind of rough because you know without this instantaneous monetization process content creators like myself are stuck you know giving our income to a partnership group that is now no longer offering us anything um, you know, when you when you sign with these companies, the real benefit that 90% of us that know what's going on sign up for is instantaneous monetization. And without that option, uh, you really don't get anything. You know, some some chant or networks will say that they'll help promote you or they'll tweet your videos. But in all honesty, there's there's no benefit there. I mean, you know, you're talking about without without going into detail, let's just say my company made thousands of dollars off of me this this year. And you know, retweeting my my video occasionally is not worth it. You know, getting um, getting access to their forum while cool is not worth it. And so these M MCNs are going to be hurt from their standpoint because people like me are going to be like, well, why would I be partnered with you anyway? You know, now with these changes, the MCNs are going to be losing people left and right. And some of these, there are a lot of MCNs out there that I, I'm not going to necessarily say they're bad. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to say they're bad networks, but they're they're kind of newbie networks, you know, things like uh, TGN, uh, Yaosh, RPM. They're networks that are very easy to get into. And because of that, they have a lot of small partnerships and a lot of small, you know, people with 50 subs, 100 subs, 200 subs, less than 50,000 views each. And, uh, you know, for the for the general, per, you know, overall setup, they're not giving their partners much other than the monetization. Well, now, you know, RPM that might have 5,000 partners with it, those people, when their contracts renew, are going to probably say, well, you know, you're not really doing anything for me. So it's going to put a lot of pressure on the MCNs to step up and, you know, provide something, provide, you know, a benefit, a bonus. Um, and, you know, that may come into, you know, more hub channel type setups like what Machinima, Machinima does. It may come in with, uh, you know, more promotions with some of their bigger talents and working with some of the smaller guys. You know, I'm, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Um, it's one of those things that the MCNs have been able to be, no offense to the MCNs, lazy about. You know, a lot of them have 
basically just sat back and for the past couple of years raked in the money. And this change is really going to screw that up. And so, you know, it's not just the partners like myself that are going to get screwed. The MCNs are going to get screwed. And, you know, I'm going to be losing a, a portion of my income with this. They're going to be losing a drastically larger portion of their income. So let's talk about the, the approval process and why that's bad. A lot of you guys are like, well, what's so wrong about the approval process? Why is that going to hurt you so bad? Well, with AdSense, when you sign up, when you're approved for the monetization, you monetize your video, you submit it, and it goes through a review process, which is robotic. It's algorithmic. Um, there is not an actual person looking at your video. It is done by a robot. And the standards that it uses to approve, nobody knows. So it could be based on the keywords, it could be based on samples from the audio and video, it could be based on you know, what we don't know. And the problem with it runs into is some videos get approved, some videos don't. Uh, in 2011, when I was partnered with AdSense and AdSense only, uh, my main channel, TDK Pyrostasis, 50% of my content was monetizable, 50% of it was not. And the content was the same. For instance, if I uploaded a 30-part Skyrim Let's Play series, 15 to 16 of those videos would easily monetize instantaneously. The other 14 or so would not, and there was nothing that I could do to make them monetize. Google wanted me to prove that I had the rights to monetize this content. And the only proof that YouTube accepts uh, is a written document from the developers. Well, most developers are not going to give you that written permission. Not because they don't necessarily want you covering the video, but because, well, it's just a lot of work. Somebody has to actually make sure your channel is appropriate for what they want to deal with, you know, write up the document, put your name on it, and then send it back. And then you obviously have to send that to Google. The issue with that is, like I said, most people don't want to do it. And it's, it's a hassle to even get a hold of a PR person that could do it. Um, the other flip side is, even if you have written permission, YouTube sometimes will still say no. I was uploading Minecraft content to my channel um, six or seven months before I opened my Minecraft specific channel. YouTube was still denying those videos, even though Minecraft clearly stated in their terms of service that Minecraft was perfectly fine to monetize. So if YouTube said no, then you had to send an email to YouTube providing the proof in 12 or 13 different forms with all these different setups. And then it could take anywhere from two days to a month to set up. Now, a lot of you guys may not realize how long that is in YouTube terms, but I put up an average of 14 videos to 21 videos a week. I do this every single day, and if my video can't go up on Monday, then I've got to wait till it'll monetize. So we're waiting until Tuesday, and then we're waiting until Wednesday, and then Tuesday's video doesn't get approved, and we're waiting until Thursday or Friday. And you know, you may come up with a long period of time where your content may not be approved. What happens if video one in a series is not approved, but two, three, four, five, and six are? You know, you, you bump into some real scheduling issues. Um, obviously, you can upload in advance and put things out two or three weeks. Uh, that way, you make sure that you have plenty of time to upload these setups. But again, you know, that just adds more stress, more maintenance, more, you know, time that you're spending not creating videos and more time that you're spending dealing with shit that is just completely extraneous to the process. Not only that, but for all intents and purposes, it doesn't even benefit or hurt anyone. This change benefits no one. This change hurts everyone. YouTube makes less money. MCNs make less money. Partners make less money. If my videos can't get monetized, I don't make as much money. My partnership network doesn't make money. And Google doesn't make money off my videos. Uh, at the same time, if I'm not uploading videos, I'm not covering people's content, game developers aren't getting the same press, therefore they're not make, selling as many copies, and they're not making as much money. I don't understand why YouTube's doing this. No one comes out a winner. If anything, this makes everybody's jobs harder. Now they have to hire people to manually review these processes. Partnering networks are going to be sending them emails constantly complaining why their channel here or there is not allowed to post this video. And it's, it's just going to be a mess for everyone. You know, the MCNs are going to have to hire more people. Google's going to have to hire more people. Um, it's going to slow content creators down, slow video produ production down. And it honestly doesn't make any sense to me. Um, to me, this seems, if I was looking at it from a business perspective, it's almost like YouTube is trying to assassinate MCNs. Because at this point, there is no benefit uh, that I can see for partnering with a network. If they won't make you a managed partner, you are losing money. 
and uh, that's that's pretty much the the cut and dried of it. Uh, and some of you guys will be like, well, obviously they want to do that because they'd rather everybody be partnered with AdSense. Well, that's the thing. If you are partnered with Maker Studio or RPM or TGN or you know whoever, Google makes the same cut. No matter what, Google gets their 40%, regardless of who you were with. So it doesn't make any sense for them to assassinate MCNs because it, it just seems it just seems they're doing it just to be cruel. Um, you know, it, it doesn't help uh, you know the partners. It doesn't help the content uh, people who are actually making video games and such. It doesn't really protect them anymore because, contrary to popular belief, no matter how strict YouTube gets, you're still going to have people uploading content. Uh, that they don't allow you know if anything like i said i haven't uploaded a video ever that breaks copyright law and they're just slowing the, the the good content creators down which means bad content creators that don't give a crap are going to be uploading just this frequently because they still don't care and if anything this is just going to you know make it harder for legitimate people to produce so uh what is the the worst case scenario that this that this happens worst case scenario is most of the MCNs don't make their people manage partners, or they do, and then they get striked and go out of business. Um, people like myself end up either going back to AdSense or sticking with MCNs, and I can only publish, you know, anywhere from 80 to 50 percent of their content, and it gets monetized, so we make less money. Some of us then have to go and get real jobs um, or subsequent positions or subsequent methods to earn money so that we're not, you know, like for me personally, I pay my bills with this. So if, you know, there is a certain threshold I have to meet and if my income drops, you know, below that threshold, then, you know, I've got to pay rent. I've got to, you know, pay my bills. I've got to, I got to eat. Contrary to popular belief, I can't just go out back and graze in the yard that um, I probably wouldn't even be able to afford. So, um, you know, that there's that, um, you know, people may start using other sites. You know, some people have mentioned moving over to Twitch and things along those lines, but you know, at the same point in time, you got to realize there's a reason why YouTube is what it is. You know, it's got the traffic sources. It's got the ease of use, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now the best case scenario is the review process comes in. It goes off without a hitch. It's not catastrophic. Um, you know, there's some a you know, little bit of a pain in the ass here, but for the majority of the time, people like myself have no problems publishing their videos, and it's just basically business as usual. The catch again, though, is going to be MCNs are going to drop like a rock because if I can get the same benefit from being with AdSense, um, why would I join your network? Why would I give you 40% of my or 30% or however much that I give you to my network? Um, it, it just doesn't make sense. And the other thing is, uh, a lot of networks require you to be in a lock-in. So if this changes, and like I said, the benefit for most of us serious people is gone, um, we're going to be wanting to get out of our contracts. Well, our contract isn't with YouTube. Our contract is with these third-party companies. And these third-party companies, depending on their contracts, the wording, and their, you know, their <laughs> desire to hang on to their paycheck, obviously, they may not let us out. And, you know... I can understand from their point of view, it's not their fault that YouTube changed the rules and the contract, like I said, unless it has a specific clause in there, technically the contract hasn't been breached. So, you know, a lot of people are going to have a lot of contract disputes and, you know, contract disputes happen all the time, but there's a difference between, you know, one or two people not liking their network and then 80% of the people with an MCN across YouTube not liking being with their network. And some folks have pointed out, well, you know, it's not a big deal because YouTube has added this button on your channel now where you can click that and you can get out of your MCN. Well, no, you can't. All that does is notify your network that you would like to get out. Most networks aren't going to accept that as the official legal in writing. If you read your YouTube, or not your YouTube, but your partnership contract, most contracts require you to submit in writing X period of days before your contract expires to get out. If you don't submit it in writing, it doesn't count. And clicking that button on YouTube, at least for my network, does not count. They've already publicly stated. So all these people who think it's going to be fine and they can just leave at any time, uh, they're going to have a little bit of a surprise waiting for them. So I'm not quite sure what to do about this. Um, you know, this is usually the part where I would say, well, go to this website and click here and, you know, tell YouTube that you don't think this is a good idea. 
Uh, the problem with YouTube is like, you know, many other changes with YouTube, um, YouTube doesn't exactly listen. Uh, you know, we've seen this with the comments. We've seen this with uh, the, the recent channel changes and the layout changes. YouTube's basically going to do what YouTube wants to do, whether, you know, we like it or not. And our unfortunate choice is basically just to suck it up and deal with it. Um, I, either way, will continue to do what I am doing. There may be some changes to what I have to do. I may have to change the type of content. I may not be able to do Let's Plays anymore. Uh, I may live stream more than I do now. I may live stream less than I do now. Uh, we may focus on the Minecraft channel more than we focus on this channel, strictly because Minecraft is 100% guaranteed to monetize, and I have written proof. Um, it, it'll just depend, and unfortunately, it sucks, because I hate having to base the content that I create and the videos that I make for you guys instead of on what you guys want to see and what I want to play to what the you know the company will allow me to do or what rules I have to skate by and you know that was that was one of the most frustrating things in 2011 when I first got started was you know all of this panic and all of this worry you know is this going to monetize is it not going to monetize you know am I going to be able to do this video am I going to be able to do that video and it's just senseless, you know, and it would be different if there was a little rhyme or reason to it or, you know, if there was somebody you could complain to or talk to or, you know, things that you could work out. But it's just so random. And, you know, like I said, it, it doesn't benefit anybody. Nobody wins here. You know, YouTube makes less money. We make less money. MCNs make less money. And you guys, the people who watch the YouTube videos, you get less content get it slower. You get less of it. You get, you know, narrower types. And it just... I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, um, YouTube is a multi-billion dollar company, so I'd like to think that they know what they're doing, but this just seems like a silly change to me that uh, it's just going to hurt people. So let me know what you guys think. You know, is this, uh, you know, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Uh, the only thing I can recommend is, you know, tweet YouTube. Let them know that you think this is something that they should be very careful of, uh, something that they shouldn't do. Uh, and that they need to, you know, think twice about doing this. You know, this is something that could, that could really change YouTube. Because, you know, if this goes bad, MCNs get shut down, people start moving over to Twitch or Vimeo or just quit. You know, you're looking at tons of videos and tons of content that's just going to disappear. You know, people who are barely making ends meet, like myself and, and things along those lines, might have to look at other positions. And it's it's just scary that, you know, one company that isn't even the company you have a contract with can make a change that puts you out of business. You know, it's it's like working for Verizon and, you know, Samsung making a change to cell phones. It completely changes the way cell phones works and puts every phone company out of business. And that's, you know, that's kind of one of the drawbacks for, for being in this business. It is so new. It is still changing. Rules are being written and changed, you know, every day. And, you know, until somebody makes a strong fair use claim or the DMCA rules and copyright policies um, with, you know, the countries and things like that get softer, it's, it's going to be rough. Because, you know, at the end of the day, YouTube's just trying to protect their ass. We're trying to protect our ass. And... It's just, it is what it is. So keep that in mind. Um, as I find out more, as I know what, what is going to go on, what is going to happen, I will let you guys know. Um, once I know how it's going to affect my channel or not affect my channel, I'll let you guys know. I'm really hoping that I'm just doom and glooming it and that it's not going to be as bad as I think. But, uh, you know, like I said, if, if you see smoke, you feel heat, you can't breathe, you know, it feels like a fire. There's probably a fire. And at this point, it is looking like the house is going to burn at least a little bit. You know, it may not be, like I said, as bad as I think. But there's definitely going to be some negative changes coming from this. No matter how they, no matter how good or bad it is, you know, somebody is going to get screwed. And I'm just hoping it's not me. And I hope it's not you guys. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Hopefully you guys liked this video and found it informative. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.